What is up guys? Welcome to Ender Lily's Quietest of the Night. So we played the early access version of this game a while back. That would be this playthrough right here where we have to level 28. And I think we finished everything we needed to do during that run. And I believe that, that consisted of like three bosses and like, you know, finding all the, the treasure in the different areas. Um, and then you'll also notice I have a level 66 playthrough right here with 8 hours and 24 minutes. Um, that was actually the let's play I was originally recording for YouTube that I lost, unfortunately, through an unfortunate control Z accident. I, uh, attempted to recover the files and, and repair the videos and it just wouldn't work. And it, this actually is a really good playthrough. Um, but obviously that won't work for YouTube. So... We're gonna play again, and and that should show. This is the third time I'm starting this game, and recording it for YouTube. That's how good it is. This game is an enjoyable experience, and I think at eight hours and twenty four minutes, I was a little over halfway. So, let's dive in again. At last, we meet. I can hardly believe it, yet here you are, alive and well. Can you hear my voice? That doesn't seem good, whatever just happened right there. You seem to be awake. And none the worse for wear. Did I frighten you? You can thank the priestess for my incorporeal form. Do you remember what, fa what fate befell this land? Of course not. So you've lost your memories as well. Let us be rid of this place for now. It may be best for you to see the state of things outside for yourself. Alright guys, so we are playing as Lily. I know a little bit about the game obviously because I did act, you know, end up playing a little while um, beforehand, so I know where some things are. So it's not a completely blind playthrough, but, um, you know, I've only done it once or twice, so we'll see what happens. At least up to, at least up to like the 8 hour mark, so. Statue Inscription Stone statues in the likeness of the White Priestess. The inscription below the surviving statue reads, Priestess of the Dawn, while the destroyed statue seems to have been one of the Priestess of the Wind. And a door we can't interact with right now. Um, so the main character is Lily. That's who we are. This is our night buddy. We fight with him. And like as we progress through the game, I just want you to keep an eye on Lily's form. Because she's obviously like pure white right now, and uh... Just keep an eye out as we go. Do not be afraid. X to attack. Wield my power as your own. You seem more than capable. Dodge. Yeah, so the knight has like a three hit combo. It's pretty solid overall. Oh, I didn't actually know you could hit that. Look at that. These guys block in front. Hey, stop it. He also has an aerial attack. So one thing that I'm gonna do on this run that I didn't do last time. I'm gonna be a lot better as we go through each area trying to clear it out. And you'll notice in the top of the screen, if an area is blue on the mini map, it is, there's still um, treasure or something to be discovered there. If it's gold, you're done. And the red dots are undiscovered pathways. Elaine's letter. Dear Secret, I want you to deliver the amulet unto that white priestess. It's a necklace I bestow upon all priestesses, but I've imbued it with a blessing. I'm certain the, war the ward will protect her from the threat of the blighted. Wards can be broken and restored, but that is something only a priestess can manage. 
I count on you to see this through. Yours, Elaine. I was calling her Eileen in the original playthrough. I'm pretty sure Elaine's the correct, per, uh, the correct uh, pronunciation. Uh, Pray is also your heal. Uh, press the, I guess, the start button to open the main menu where you can access all manner of information. We can break boxes and barrels. Ah, look at that. Amulet fragment. Max HP plus five. Part of an amulet worn by a white priestess, the tiny shattered fragment still glows with a faint light. Nope. Oh. Alright, and we have gold in this area as well. That really seems like there should be something there. On the Blighted One. As the mind, body, and soul of those afflicted with the blight is consumed, the rot spreads throughout. The rot possesses superb regenerative properties, granting undying flesh. The link between mind and body is cut in time, and the host is driven purely by the wrath of the blight. Respites act as checkpoints. Resting will restore your HP along with spirit and prayer uses. Resting will call forth all defeated blighted to walk the land once more. How fare you? Let us rest the spell. Using a respite will, will restore your status, status and save the game. I think you have to actually save the game though. I don't know. Then we don't we can't do anything else right now, so let's keep going. Ah. On the blighted two. There are blighted whose minds do not fade. This is no saving grace. However, as it is said that they must endure an eternity of pain and suffering. The miracle of the White Priestess is the only true salvation for those who have come to be cursed with the Blight. And a lever. Wait, there we go. Alright. Area complete. Obviously the first couple areas are pretty straightforward. We dubbed these boys the Yeet Boys also. So right now you'll notice by the Knight's icon on the bottom left, we have an unlimited uses. He's like our auto attack. We cannot get here right now. Oh, okay. You can you do take damage from bumping into enemies, which is kind of interesting, and I'm still not used to it. The knight does kind of outrange them. That's a hand right there. Huh. Not today. See if we got anything over here. Absolutely not. Why would we? Oh crap. I don't want to do that. Gotta dodge behind them. Oh crap. Go. Man, these all really look like they're hidden areas, but they're not. I didn't check these in the first playthrough, so. This is the first Metroidvania game that I've played in probably years, to be honest with you guys, and I can't even explain how much fun I'm having with it. Like, obviously, enough fun that I, like I said, I accidentally lost my entire playthrough that I'm starting it again, just because I want to get it on YouTube so badly, because it's such a fun game, that whoever watches, I want you to enjoy this experience. There's our lever for that side. Let's go explore over here. Nope. This way should lead back up. Ah, hidden pathway. But we have to go the other way first, obviously. There may be treasure. I actually don't know what's up here. Oh, wait, one of these things. I don't like these enemies. That was unkind. Amulet fragment, plus five HP. And we're, as you can see, we're still not done here. There are a lot of secrets in this game that I, like like I said, we I was about halfway through, eight and a half hours in, and I had a lot of areas with, with blue on them still. 
and I don't I don't really know like there there you have to come back and do some intense exploration and uh, puzzle solving to find some of the secrets I think which is good I mean that adds a lot of fun to the game and what do we have here also level up the parish way number one Carriers of the curse appear from the land of snow, bringing calamity to land's end. Said to be the ancient's revenge, the curse drove people to madness and transformed them into monstrosities. Carriers of the curse came to be known as the Blighted. So we are fighting the Blighted right now. Tainted by the Blight, never to die. We call those creatures the Blighted. And also this bench is Blighted, but that's besides the point. All right, here we go. The air is thick with the rot of the blight. Take heed. To protect her, I must destroy, 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 destroy. Guardian Secret. Now, if you recall, we just read a letter from Elaine a little bit ago saying that Sigrid needs to deliver an amulet to the White Priestess, which I believe would be us in this situation. Um, and you can't see it, but you saw it in the intro. There is actually an amulet on Lily's, like she's wearing right now, and I believe that is the amulet that they're, they're discussing. Oh, got the stagger. That little orange bar is a stagger bar also. That actually becomes really important a little bit later on. I mean, it's important the entire game, but like there's some enemies that you need to deal with that stagger bar to fight them. We won. <gasps> or did we? Guardian Sigrid uh, demon form? The music in this game is so good. Come on. Ah. I don't remember if Secret has any super crazy attacks. Oh, she dodged that. Oh, there's that one. That's the bad one. Come on. Stagger. Got her. I was supposed to protect you. I adored the priestess of the, of the fount. She was our only hope against the immortal blighted. With unflinching resolve and a smile on her face, she epitomized radiant tenderness. My sister's letter informed me that the priestess was in poor health. It seemed the burden of her purification rituals was taking its toll. I couldn't rejoice at the peace she brought at the cost of her own well-being. Moreover, I couldn't forgive myself for not being able to protect her as a guardian. No, it was my own sister who was chosen for that role. In my darkest hour, I found solace in Lily, who was much like the priestess herself. Even when I couldn't serve her as a guardian, the least I could do was protect her. But then the rain began to fall. Cries of pain rang out in the distance. The chief guardian called it the rain of death. I gave Lily sanctuary and took my weapon in hand. The rain never let up. Guardian Sigrid swings an iron ball to attack surrounding enemies. Sub skills have a cooldown and limited number of uses, but can be used in conjunction with other skills. Sigrid guarded the sept to protect the white priestess Lily. Never ending bloodshed caused her to be consumed by madness. Guardian's Leap. While airborne, press A and then A again. The blighted wings of Guardian Sigrid grant an extra jump while midair. Double jump. 
they grant Lily an additional jump. The soul has been purified, no longer imprisoned by blight. Also, look at Lily's hair right now. Within that memory just now, the woman called you Lily. Surely that is your name. If you retrace the memories of the blighted in life, you may just remember something of yourself. It may prove difficult, but can you carry on? Up, up, up. Okay, let's go grab that item over here. But first, one of the key components of this game. Spirits. You possess blighted spirits with skills at your disposal. Spirits can be equipped at respites. So now we have the knight who's like an auto, auto attack unit that you can like use in limited amounts of times. And we have Sigrid who has 13 uses. And then they also appear here, which is kind of cool. So let's go grab that item. And she also does this, a similar attack to what she did in the fight right there. So she has that one on the ground. Soiled prayer beads. Slightly increased maximum HP. A rosary worn by the white priestess guardian. Extensive training took place underground until someone was chosen to be your protector. And then here's her arrow attack. So we also unlocked relics right there, which is a big deal. Um, let's go put it on. I think we can put it on at least. We'll see. You have a relic in your possession. Relics can be equipped at respites. Boom. We have more HP now. All right, let's continue on. Yeah, Sigrid put in work before she went down. The White Parish. Are you all right? Don't push yourself, take a rest. Also notice Lily's legs are also cut up now. I didn't notice that before. I don't think they were originally. All right, let's continue on. Summoner of Blight, the Reign of Death. Chaos had taken the villagers long before even my arrival. But did the rain end them or the blighted? My bond with the priestess is a perennial one. I may not be able to lead the charge in this form, but my blade is yours. Don't look surprised. You think me the sort of wretch to leave a child out in this horrid rain? <laughs> I'm guessing she says no right there. Let us trudge on. Horse! Do you recognize them? Seems they lost consciousness before succumbing to the madness. They don't appear to be a threat. Best keep your distance. Groa's letter. Dear Bell, thank you for the continued service in ferrying the White Priestess and her guardians. My son hopes to one day be as fine as a coachman as you, to ride as gallantly on his final horse. Please do call on us when you visit the parish. Blessed be the tranquil white light. Chief Guardian Groa. Bye, horsey. Also, look at that flower right there. It's very distinct. Ow. I meant to do that. Don't worry about it. Wake up. All right, we need to go up there to unlock. No, this isn't it right here. Never mind. Hold on. We'll see it in a second. Red and white flowers. Lily may find flowers blooming with mystical power that will help her on her journey when destroyed. Red flowers. Blight read the red flowers will restore spirit uses. White flowers. The blessings of magic infused with white flowers will restore prayer uses. 
So basically, top off when you find these, and if you and the red ones are always good because they re, re, uh, restore spirit uses, which is like why Secret has 12 uses. So you see how she has 11 now, and she'll, she'll have 10 after this attack right here. Boom, now she has 13 again. And we're also level three. New enemy type, the archer. And we will see that enemy for a lot more of the game. Come on. Really? And I jump right into it. Probably didn't need to do that, but it's fine. So those red barriers right there, we'll have to come back later to get in there. I was trying to do something cool there, it didn't work at all. There he is. The Cliffside Hamlet Youth. Arguably one of the best spirits in the game. Save me the pain, it's unbearable. Well, at least he's one of my favorite. Cliffside Hamlet Youth performs an arced leap and lands with enough force to scatter and damage surrounding enemies. Separated from his mother in the midst of a terrible storm, the boy set off for the White Parish in search of help. He never arrived. Tragic story for the, the youth, obviously. But definitely works out in our favor because he is very powerful. I was using him, like like I said, all the way up until I, my playthrough was um, unfortunately lost. So I don't know what, what I missed here, actually. Interesting. I don't I don't know. It'd be kind of cool to find this, right? Oh wait, never mind. It's the it's the it's the red barrier. Never mind. We're good. Can't swim underwater yet. Hold, something approaches. Or rather, it follows. I sense no clear mind. It seems to be drawn by your am amulet. Perhaps they are once in service to a white priestess. Is there a desire to assist us? You priestesses are a rare breed. Hey, horse buddy. That is our fast travel system in the game, which is kind of cool. Fast travel is now accessible. You can now travel to any respite you have previously visited. It's nice that they uh, let you have that so early into the game, too. I also find it cool that the little red orbs following you are your spirits. The Parish Way 2. Soldiers of the nation rose to face the blighted, but struggled in vain. In the end, the prayers of the woman in, in white saved the kingdom. Her words, the only thing capable of purifying and stopping the blighted. Revered by the people, this woman came to be known as the White Priestess. Let's go exploring, though. Water. Not good. Alright, so there's up and down. Let's go up first. Whoa, easy there, buddy. Oh, we got burbs now.
Oh, come on. Don't do that to me, sir. Level four. All right, so we can go up there and we can double jump. I don't know why. Why do we want to go up there, actually? I don't know. Cliffside Hamlet. Seems this was once a village. Sometimes chests um, contain upgrade mats for... Um, Hey, easy there, pupper. Upgrade math, and sometimes they contain healing um, orbs, I guess you can call them. And also additional spirit uses, so they're actually really good. It's always good to break all the boxes, just like any other game. Yeah, I forgot. He doesn't do anything in the air. He's not great against aerial enemies. That's not his intent. Uh, let's go down first. Secret's also really good at like creating a barrier between enemies and yourself. Hey, look at that. Another amulet fragment. Now, I mean, maybe the amulet fragments are actually being used to put together the amulet on um, Lily, the, Lily's wearing. It also, that's what she, I think she might be clutching it with her hands whenever you stand still. Maybe. Oh, I didn't see that dog there. Oh crap, I didn't... Well, oh. hold on. Let's go back up. So the burb is not easy to get to right there. I don't even think I got that. I, I didn't I didn't recover that yet, even when I was playing before. That just takes you back, right? Yeah. Well, you know what? Honestly, this might be to reach the bird over there eventually. Somehow, like a flight or glide mechanic or something. I don't know. Oh, there's. A, we need to get to that lever. So Sigrid's main main focus when you have her out is to break that stagger bar on enemies. The like her attack shred it, as you can see right there. Man, it really seems like there should be something right here. Can't break that yet. We can get this though. It's all melted in the rain. Stagnant blight times 10 can be used to enhance skills. Filthy residue shed by a purified blighted. The sorrowful muck is stagnant, but, gl but glints with a faint light, allowing you to enhance your skills at respites. So that's how you upgrade your spirits. Well, some of them, not all of them. Completely meant to do that. Don't worry about it. And so this area won't be finished until we can break those barriers there, I believe. Big boy.
Loot. Broken music box. Slightly reduces damage received from enemies. An old lullaby still leaks out from this music box, destroyed in the heat of battle. A note is attached. Dear child, I hope to see you in my dreams. Rip. How do we get back to the verb? Only we can from right here. Hey, level six. Oh, I meant that's not what I wanted to do there at all. So, like, the nice thing about the youth is you can kind of throw them behind enemies like that and then hit them from behind. So, even if they're guarding, you still have a way to deal with them, which is pretty cool. Yep, we can't finish this area until we have the the, uh, the drop down ability to break those barriers. I spy a shack over yonder. Let's rest our weary bones. But first, true believers note: after the blighted started to appear in Lands End, many religions quickly began to die out, including the True Way. Seeking hope, many flocked to the White Priestess. It is likely that the Way of the White Parish arose from there, from there, and spread amongst the people. And let us take a short reprieve. You possess spirits that can be enhanced. Spirits can be enhanced that respites. Enhance. My girl Sigrid first. The youth will be next. And then the Umbral Knight actually has a unique upgrade material called Ancient Souls. And then we also have another relic. It requires two slots. So we're going to take the max HP over, eh, over the reduced damage, I think. I think that's probably fine. And we'll end up saving right here. And that will be it for this episode, guys, of Ender Lily's Quietest of the Nights. So for the for about the first eight hours or so of this playthrough, it's not going to be like a walkthrough. But just be aware that I've seen a lot of the game for the first eight hours because of my failed playthrough that accidentally got deleted. So hopefully that doesn't deter too many of you. And I hope that you enjoy this series if you stick around to watch it. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.